Hello and welcome, this is your boy Jack here to do another reaction video. This time we'll be reacting to Our Love by Jam. Uh, the reason why I'm actually reacting to this is because I did a version with JJ Lin for Sound of My Voice, uh, Sound of My Dream, which was absolutely, absolutely fantastic. And I was like, you know what, I'm also a fan of Jam. I love her tracks. She is absolutely, <laughs> absolutely fantastic. So... Um, I just want to see her version of the song and see how it goes if it stands up to JJ's version of the same song. So, I guess without further ado, let's get this reacting party started. This is Jem, and she will be performing Our Love for... I'm not quite sure what show this is. I think it's called Singing Up. Singing Up? Okay, so I guess that's what it is, Singing Up. So, I guess without further ado... Let's get this reacting party started. And it looks as though she's doing a duet. It's a duet, not just um, her alone. So we'll see. Oh, and one further thing. I really do love the opening of the um, JJ Lynn version. You should check it out in my um, reaction video. Uh, I love It's like the violin there. Na, 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 na. It's absolutely beautiful. So let's see how it goes with this. I have no idea who the gentleman is, so please, guys, let me know. Sorry again, I know I'm pausing. Uh, I just want to know: is this the original version of the song? Is she? Uh, did you sing an original version? Because I'm quite certain JJ had to rearrange his version. So, I have never actually heard. Have I heard her? I don't think I've actually heard the original version or the at least. Huh, you know what? I'll have to put a lid on that for a second because I'm not quite sure if JJ sang the song actually. <laughs> so, uh, no, no. All right, so I know. You know what? Let's just react to this and forget what I just said about original versions. Obviously, she's absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna pause it over there. I have to say that was absolutely a very good, valiant effort by the gentleman next to her. He actually, his voice actually worked well with her, and it is brilliant. Uh, oh, I have to also thank Kenson J for actually pointing me to this version of the song, which is, which is great, which is good, but it's not as great as the. Um, as the rearranged version by JJ Lin, I have to say, I really love the, the arrangement that was made for that particular performance as opposed to this. I think the whole instrumentation and everything kind of gave it a more ethereal, more, you know, I don't know. It just felt a little bit extra and brilliant. And 
this, obviously the voices are great. The way they're singing the song is absolutely great, but I think the instrumentation, had it been the same as JJ, would have made this even spectacular. So, let's continue. And you guys have to <laughs> kind of explain what's going on because the two main people, everyone seems to be singing. Okay. So yes, as I said, that was a valid effort by the gentleman there. I'm not quite sure who his name is, but he did do a very good job. I really, you have to give him props for that. Actually, I could see so he didn't actually trip up and go high with her, which would have been very, very bad. And he was actually able to keep it. Yeah. So that was actually not bad. But as I said, during in the middle of the video over there, it's like the JJ performance was absolutely, absolutely phenomenal as a, due to the fact that the rearrangements elevated the song. The song already is fantastic, this version here is already fantastic, but the rearrangement by JJ elevated the song and the performance. Obviously, he's fantastic, he's a great performer, so that work jam obviously is phenomenal i think in my opinion she overshadowed the dude the guy that she was singing with and i can say i really <laughs> blame him because she is always on point she's always on point whenever she sings live it's like it's insane how how talented she is how on pitch she is it's like i don't think i've actually i mean it's very rare to find an artist who actually sounds fantastic live or even better than their CD or even the same as their CD. It's like you hear, you listen to her song, her tracks or CD, audio tracks, studio recorded tracks, that's what I meant, and listen to her live performance. There, this, this, hardly any variation in terms of tone and pitch, unless of course she rearranges the song for a live performance, which makes it different, but it always sounds the same. It's like she is, as someone said, a human CD recorder or something like that. So it is um, something along that line. So she is always on point. So that's great. Anyway, 
With that said, this is your boy Jack. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification button. Let's you know when next I drop a new vid. Don't forget to leave comments down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want me to react to. If you've got nothing to say, just say hey. That's okay. If you disagree with something I say during this reaction, obviously, please don't hesitate to leave it in the comments down below. All I ask is that you be constructive about it, which will facilitate exchange of ideas and civil conversation which is always a good thing. And if you also wish to add something to what I've said to enhance whatever, please also don't hesitate to leave it in the comments down below. All I ask is that you be constructive also in your comments. With that said, this is your boy Jack. You all take care and I'll catch you on the flip side.